everyone, welcome back to Craving Sweet Adventures. I'm Karen Ame and I'm so excited today because I've partnered with Campbell's Condensed Soups to put some eye caramba into your everyday weeknight meals. On this very special Easy Weeknight Meals episode, I'm going to make a Fiesta meatball soup. Now my son loves anything Mexican and this soup combines roasted red pepper and tomato with tomato with basil and oregano. Together these flavors come together and I'm going to simmer my meatballs in it. I'm going to add some beans for a little bit extra protein. I'm going to add a little bit of sweet corn and of course, I'm going to finish it off with some cheese. Before I go any further with this recipe, I know you're dying to know how to make it. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed. Ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon, that will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I'm going to start with Campbell's roasted pepper and tomato and Campbell's tomato with basil and oregano, ground beef, corn, mixed beans, coriander, some garlic, onion, green pepper, egg, salt and taco seasoning, cheese and some hot sauce. The first thing I want to do is prepare the meatballs. I'm going to use my food processor to make these meatballs really quickly. Throw in half an onion and half a green pepper. Now this is going to yield about a half cup each. I'm also going to throw in four garlic cloves and I'm just going to give this a really quick whiz. Add the lean ground beef. This is about 10 ounces. That's approximately 280 grams. I'm also going to add one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of taco seasoning. You can use store-bought taco seasoning or if you want to use my homemade blend, I'm going to leave that link at the end of this video. I have a whole beaten egg here, but I'm just going to add half and I'm going to add some more only if I need it. Be sure to scrape everything into the bottom of the processor and grind it again. This consistency is perfect. If you find that your mixture is too soft to handle, you can add some breadcrumbs to the mix. You can also make these meatballs with lamb, pork or even chicken. Just adjust the eggs and breadcrumbs as required. I always like to make sure that the seasoning is perfect before I cook the whole batch and I just like to fry up a small amount just to check the seasoning. Now this is optional but it's best if your beef is really really cold. When it's in the food processor the blades release a lot of heat. So I like to just add it to a platter and I like to wrap it with cling film and stick it in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now if you're not in a rush you can just leave it in the fridge. I'm going to use Campbell's roasted red pepper and tomato and Campbell's tomato with basil and oregano as my soup base. These are both delicious but combined I'm going to take advantage of all of these flavors to simmer my meatballs in. This is such a quick and easy way to get a great soup base ready in no time. I'm going to start with the tomato with basil and oregano and I'm going to mix in the roasted red pepper and tomato. The color is vibrant and I love that there are no artificial colors or preservatives. This condensed soup is packed with flavor. Each can is 284 ml and I'm going to fill each can with water and I'm going to add this in as well. Stir this till this comes to a boil. I'm going to check for salt and add salt to taste. Now I want to add a little bit more liquid because I want enough liquid to simmer my meatballs in and so I'm going to add another 284 ml of water. Allow this to come to the boil again and it's now time to add my meatballs. My ground meat is really nice and cold and I'm going to show you how to get your meatballs really quickly into the soup. Make sure that your hands are wet, grab a fistful of the meat and push this through your closed fist where your thumb and your index finger are 
and just grab the ball with the other hand and drop it into the soup. Keep doing this till you have all of your meatballs simmering in that delicious soup base. For additional protein, I'm going to add a half cup of mixed beans followed by a half cup of corn. I'm also going to add a half cup of chopped coriander or cilantro. Taste for salt and add salt to taste. And now for the best part, I'm going to fold in a quarter cup of cheese. As this cheese melts, it's going to add flavor and thicken the soup. This is totally optional, but I like to add a few splashes of hot sauce. This is now ready to serve. I like to serve this garnished with more cheese, a tortilla chip, some cilantro, and a couple of dollops of sour cream. I also like to serve this with more cheese and chips on the side. This is delicious. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed this Mexilicious Fiesta Meatball Soup. If you want the full recipe, look below in the description. There's a link there to the recipe. Also go to cookwithcampbells.ca. They have tons of recipes on that website. You're really going to enjoy them. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, guys. I upload new videos every week, so please make sure that you're subscribed. Ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. See you there. Take care, guys. Bye.